The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Pam invested $5,000. She earned 14% on part of her investment and 6% on the rest. If she earned a total of $396 in interest for the year, how much did she invest at each rate? I would start this problem by setting up a chart based on our formula amount invested times rate of interest equals interest earned. Down the left side of the chart we have the two different types of investments that Pam makes, the 14% investment and the 6% investment. For the amount invested column, we know that Pam invested $5,000, but we don't know how much she invested at each rate. So we use x and 5,000 minus x to represent the amount she invested at each rate. For the rate column, we translate our two percentages to decimal form. So 14% becomes 0.14 and 6% becomes 0.06. Remember 6% means 6 over 100 or 0.06. Based on our formula, we can multiply the first two columns in our chart together to fill out the third column. So we have x times 0.14, which is 0.14x, and 5,000 minus x times 0.06, or 0.06 times parentheses 5,000 minus x. Reading through the last part of the problem, we know that she earned a total of $396 in interest for the year. So if we add up the two amounts of interest that she earned at each rate, we'll get a total of $396. So we can set up an equation that reads 0.14x plus 0.06 times parentheses 5,000 minus x equals 396. Solving from here, we find that x equals 1,200. If you need a review of how to solve equations that involve decimals, Go back to that unit in the equations chapter. So we know that Pam invested $1,200 at 14% interest. And the amount she invested at 6% is represented by 5,000 minus x, which is 5,000 minus 1,200, or $3,800 at 